All right, in this video, we're going to be diagnosing a bad window motor or a bad window regulator. Basically, um, working on this Ford, and the driver's window does not go down. The switch for it on this one is actually in the center right down here. You can see. And nothing's happening here. Nothing. Not even a click, no noise, nothing whatsoever. Uh, the other side, you can see going up and down fine and then we go do it this side and we got nothing so we're gonna go ahead and start by um, start by pulling the door panel off um, which basically just unclipped all right we went ahead and popped this little uh, button out of the door handle area here you can see the bolt there we're gonna go ahead and remove that Yeah, we got this screw right now. Let's just go like that. Right, on this one, there's also a number of different screws along the side here too that we're gonna go ahead and remove, and then we should be able to pop this door panel off. All right, then we're gonna remove this little plastic piece off the inner door handle, and there's gonna be a couple more screws inside here. One here, and one here. And typically, this is gonna be um, very similar on all different kinds of makes and models cars. All right, so as you can see, we got this um, door panel all pulled off, and I just pulled this insulation back. Uh, you can try and keep it intact as best you can. Um, what I'll do is I'll just place some spray adhesive on here and glue this back in place. Uh, so here's our window motor right down here. Um, basically, first thing I'm going to do is just try tapping it a little while I. Uh, I'm going to try tapping it while I activate the actual um, switch to see you can just tap it with a hammer lightly you know and see if it starts working sometimes if those brushes get weak oh. and I can actually I can hear it clicking a little now you can hear that but so we know it's getting some kind of power it might be getting power one way but not the other way so um next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unplug this connector here and make sure um, we're getting reverse pol polarity. Basically when it goes up it's going to have power and ground one way and when it's going down it's just swapping polarity. So I got a feeling we're going to find that um, we have no, we're not going to have any electricity going on. We're not going to have uh, polarity switching there which could possibly mean a bad s switch. So um all right, let me go ahead and get that unplugged, and I'll hook my power probe up, and we'll test that real quick. All right, we got a connector all unplugged, as you can see here. Um, I got my power probe hooked up, and um, I'm going to activate the downwards switch. And there's nothing happening there. Now when I go up, I get power. So and that's when we were hearing clicking is when it was going up. So that's why I assumed we'd probably have power there. Let's go to the other terminal here. Um, and that seems to be working as well. So we might got an odd one here. Everything seems to be working. We got power and grounds on both sides regardless of the direction. Maybe um, I'm thinking we probably have a bad switch then. Probably what's happening is um, I'm glad I was actually catch this on video because not very often you see it work and then not work. But I bet is what happening is uh, um, I bet the pins in this this switch or the contacts in the switch are getting weak. So when you actually put it under a load through the um, window motor itself it breaks a circuit. Um, that's usually what happens when switches go bad. They, um, the contacts in here just wear enough, and they, they can't carry the they can't carry the amperage for the for the window motor, so it won't work. But uh, let me go ahead and get this uh, motor plugged back in. We're gonna pull the switch out, and we're gonna re uh, test everything. Okay, so we got the um, window motor all plugged back in there. You can see. Um, and just as 
I was kind of um, thinking, even though we had good power and ground, now I got this all back together and plugged in, it still will not go down. So, as you can see there, other side has worked perfectly fine. And we still have nothing there. So, um, I'm guessing this uh, switch is not carrying a load. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pull this out. Uh, if we're lucky, maybe we can interchange these switches and see if it makes a difference. But um, we'll try that real quick and see what happens. Alright, so we got these switches out. And lucky for me, um, these are interchangeable. So I'm going to go ahead and plug... Look, I'm going to go ahead and plug the uh, driver's side window into the passenger switch. But they're interchangeable luckily so that makes it pretty easy and there we go look at there window is working so on this one we just have a bad switch so we're gonna go ahead and replace that because it's working again but um, a good test to do if it's not a bad switch is like I said you can pull this door panel off first thing you want to do is just tap on this with something sometimes you can even do it with the door panel on and uh, you might be able to get your window up that way or, um, you know, if your switches are interchangeable, you can try interchanging them, but typically they're usually not. So, a lot of times what you can do, you can cut, kind of jam on the switch quite a bit too, and a lot of times you can get this thing working, just really mess with it until, um, you know, because if those contacts are bad, sometimes you can get it working just enough to get your window either up or down. So, you know, in case it's raining until you get a chance to get it fixed or whatnot, but... Hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe to the Flat Rate Mechanic if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.